$49. Sealed Bratz lip balm in strawberry and banana. Welcome back to another video. We are at the antique mall. We are gonna organize my booth and restock it today. Again, I know I've said this a million times. I just love how our booth is looking with the new shelves. Uh, I, okay, I was checking this out and somebody was playing with it because they didn't put the little pet shop figure back inside. And someone also dropped a little pet shop figure there from a different booth, so that did not belong. I spent some time organizing the magazines. I had to take one out because someone did buy it and I did put on the tag that some of the pages had been cut up um, and I guess they just weren't happy with how many pages were cut out. I don't know, so they returned it. So I took it home and yeah, probably just gonna donate it. But I did restock with some more Littlest Pet Shop mystery bags. I do only have one left, so I don't know when I'm going to be able to restock it, sadly. They're very hard to find. I did add my Shrek plush. Look at him there. And I put a little Ninja Turtles plush on the top. So this is how our booth is looking. It looks so well organized, so bright, so colorful, so full of life, honestly. Um, these are some of the new items I added, like a Care Bear and like you saw the ninja turtle and shrek i did add some more magazines some dream watch magazines this naruto or naruto i can never say it um it did sell so it's not available anymore some ren and stimpy magazines um another webkins a mammoth webkins and then an operation simpsons game and also a cabbage patch kids game Two for two, I remembered to show you guys what I added to the booth today. I feel like ever since we gave it a makeover, it hasn't been as messy when we come and check it out because like everything kind of has a spot now. So that is nice, less work for me when I go reorganize it. Um, but yeah, looking good, added some fun stuff. Just so happy with how it looks now. I brought in this bin to do some garage sale pricing. My parents and I are having a garage sale, so we need to figure out what the price of all this is gonna be a lot of this stuff i just took out of my booth that wouldn't that was like wasn't selling can i speak please i have so many of these random video games honestly everything in this garage sale is gonna be super super cheap like one to five dollars i just honestly want to get rid of all of this stuff like just random games we got parts of the caribbean nicktoons I got Boy Meets World uh, DV. Wow. Wow. I didn't even know I had these. Boy Meets World. Um, so yeah, everything's gonna be like so cheap. So I'm gonna start pricing all this. I went to a few garage sales on Friday before my dad and I went on Saturday and I did find a couple things like some Green Day CDs. Always fun to see some nostalgic CDs. I did find these Disney like plant seeds. I did not know these existed. I also don't know what year these are from, but I honestly think it's like the 90s just because of the way that they look. I was very tempted to grab them. Like how stinking cute. I just like don't know like do seeds expire? Would they still grow? I have no idea. There was some cute little Christmas ornaments and then I went to this big garage sale. Look how big this was. This was just half of it. I was screaming. I had never been to a garage sale that crazy before in my life, but everything was pretty expensive, so I didn't grab anything, but they did have some fun nostalgic items. These were cute little like fairy tale books, nursery rhyme books, and then I found a little Cabbage Patch doll. Another Saturday, another day of garage sales. I already got a Webkinz with the code still so this is gonna go in the antique booth very hot day very smoky day sadly so we'll see how it goes but we've got a lot to hit today we have to redeem ourselves from last weekend because last weekend was awful so hopefully today today's already better than last weekend <laughs> 
And it's gonna get even better. The first stop we went to this toy collector sale. I actually went to this girl's last year and we stumbled upon it again this year. She always has such amazing finds. It's just fun to like look at everything. I do have her socials linked in my description if you wanna check out her page. But yeah, just so much nostalgic, like Lisa Frank? Are you kidding me? Lisa Frank, Groovy Girls, Digimon, Franklin, Timmy from the Fairly Odd Parents. Like, you're joking me. Like, just everything was stuff that I was interested in. So I really had to hold back in what I, like, purchased. But yeah, even like some Care Bears, Brat stuff. I did pick up some stuff from this garage sale that you will see at the end of this video. My dad actually picked up some stuff too. He did end up getting that Bart Simpson backpack. And look, this was a bag of My Scene and Winx stuff. Like, are you joking me? A Berenstein bear? My dad actually did pick that up. And just look at all of the dolls she had. Like, you just know her collection inside of her house is amazing if this is what she's getting rid of. I truly wish all garage sales were like this one. We just got some great items. Bart Simpson backpack. Backpack. Huge. Timon. I should put my bag out here. Justin Bear. I'll show these when I'm home, but they're like, um, my scene and, and Winks. Snoopy soap dish. Oh, I didn't even see what that looked like. That's cute. I didn't realize. It's like the floating one. Is it the floating one? I think it floats in water. Rats and Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, good stuff. So pretty much every time my dad and I go garage sailing, we're out for six to eight hours. That is like a full work day for us. So, you know, that's how dedicated we are to finding the best stuff for our shops and our antique booth. So yeah, it's just crazy that we are out for eight hours and time just honestly flies, especially when you get some yummy lemonade from a cute little girl's lemonade stand. Those are the best garage sales. We come across so many kids lemonade stands and they also always have like chips and goodies and stuff. So that makes the time fly. This was like another toy collector kind of garage sale. The prices were a little bit more pricey, so didn't end up getting anything, but still fun to see all of these plushes and Star Trek stuff for my dad. Pennywise was there, so. Uh, yeah, I just love when we come across more than one like collector sale in the day and they also had a whole bunch of Funko Pops and my dad spotted this little holiday Barbie. They had a Barbosa, Barbosa from, no not, not Barbosa, Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean. That was actually really tempting to get. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean. They also had Weird Al, like you're kidding me. I literally love Weird Al and I grew up listening to Weird Al. If you know the Night Santa went crazy, we're best friends. Um, I did stumble across some webkins. You never know what you're gonna find in plush bins. Like I've honestly learned that even if the plushes on the top don't look very interesting, dig. Because look, there was also Hello Kitty in there and Scooby-Doo was in there too. So yeah, dig in those plush bins because surprises are waiting for you. Oh, look at this. I forgot about this. A Bugs Life computer kit never opened, still sealed. My dad did pick that up for the antique booth. And then an entire collection of Mighty Machines on VHS. These are actually really hard to come by. So I am going to sell them as a lot on my eBay. If my brother and sister-in-law had a VCR at their house, I would give it to them for my nephew to watch because he would absolutely love these. They're so cool. They're just like all about cars and transportation and stuff. So... Yeah, happy to have snagged all of those. It's a good day when I find some fun VHS tapes. There were Stanley and also Barney. And then I did come across some um, Littlest Pet Shop. They were mainly McDonald's toys. And then, oh my gosh, guys, it was so hot outside. So we quickly, quickly stopped at this little um, antique store where they had a market. And fun fact, my dad and I actually were vendors at this market um, a couple of years ago before we got our booth. But look how expensive that Nickelodeon camera was. $150, my jaw dropped. I actually forgot to look it up to see if it's actually worth that much. 
Okay, I just paused this and looked it up and it is not worth $150. It's worth like $80. So wow, that was a steep, steep price. But there were some good vendors here. Nothing that we were really interested in, like not many toys, but I did want to show you some other things that I don't normally show, like these old vintage buttons and stuff like that. Star Trek! My dad found a Star Trek one, of course. There's some Garfield and Superman and some old like Lego McDonald's ones, which were really fun. But yeah, this vendor had like a ton just like binders and binders of buttons. It was it was wild Okay back at the garage sales. I did end up finding a club penguin plush. Are you kidding me? I honestly did not think I'd be finding a club penguin item at a garage sale So that was super fun and we did stop at a thrift store and these are Bratz lip balms that have never been used from 2011 Stop it. That was honestly like one of the most exciting finds of the day it is the next day and I'm going to show you what I ended up picking up from all of those garage sales yesterday. It was a very, very, very good day. Way better than last week. So let's get started. The frog from Looney Tunes, couldn't tell you his name, but the tag is still attached. It is from 1996. My dad was saying it's the guy who goes, da -na 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 -na, da -na 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 -na, da -na -na -na. Is that right? Or am I like totally wrong on this? Let me know in the comments. A leopard webkins, sadly no tag, but still really cute. Not one, but two webkins with the tags, two frog webkins. Oh, there it is. I found these at different garage sales. So like, what are the odds of finding two with the tags on the same day? Wild. A 2015 Harmony Care Bear. A 2014 Hello Kitty wearing like a San Francisco type football team. I don't know. During my voiceover of all the garage sales, I mentioned I went to one um, who had a whole bunch of collectible toys and stuff. That's where I found this Timon plush and I'm actually so excited about it. It is so cute, in really good condition, like pretty tall. Like, look at that. I actually love you. Might be one of like my favorite finds of the day, honestly. I did come across a Scooby-Doo. He isn't in the greatest condition. Like even his collar is kind of all jumbled up uh, like it could be in better condition but the price was right so I did pick it up sorry let me just figure this out there we go um I am going to be putting it in my antique booth but it won't be very expensive there's actually so many great finds I was saying Timon might be my favorite but also this blue puffle from Club Penguin might be my favorite find as well I found quite a few of these back like in the past year or so like a red one a big red one a little red one a big pink one with the tag and coin and now we have a blue one this is also from that really nice girls garage sale with the collectibles a digimon um picture my brain's not on not a picture book a photo album or like scrapbook type deal um, this is the back of it, and it is from the year 2000. A whole bunch of Mighty Machines on VHS. Like, so many. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them, but they're just all trucks and trains and boats and stuff. If you don't know what Mighty Machines is, yeah, it's just like talks about different types of vehicles. My nephew would actually love these. He loves all things. Cars, but they don't have a VCR, so... I did find some McDonald's. Sorry, there's a motorbike that scared the crap out of me. I found some McDonald's Littlest Pet Shop figures. I like to put these in my loot scoops. So that is where they're going to go. And then there's some of the kind of newer ones. Precious. Another Littlest Pet Shop. I actually have this in my booth already. It's missing the holder for the little figures. There are some little figures in here. They're mainly, um, like, what is this, a caterpillar or something? A caterpillar and a snail, um, a butterfly. They're kind of gross, I gotta clean them. And then a different caterpillar type thing. This one's like transparent, so cool. I don't know what I'm doing with this yet since it is missing part of it, so. Uh, the dog McDonald's plush with the tag still attached. This one is... What is this one? The Dutch Hound, Dutch Hound, Dutch Hound, Dutch Dash Hound. The Dutch Hound. 
why can't I remember how to say that right now? Oh my goodness. Anywho, cute. Cutie patootie. Some random toys like this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy. We believe when I was on TikTok Live, follow me on TikTok for more nostalgic content. Um, we were talking about how this is from, what's that blue guy, Megamind? He's a villain from Megamind or something like that. I don't know. But then I did get Donkey and he will be a part of my loot scoop. I just sold a loot scoop and I added this exact toy. So funny to have him back. A deal or no deal handheld game. This one is from 2006. I love playing my Yahtzee one, so I got this for myself. Now these are like some of the best finds of the day. I know I've said that already. I know. But these like are just so cool. And I, this is from that girl's collectible yard sale. It was incredible. I should have bought more things, but you know, you got a budget. So um, this is Winx, my scene, and also some Winnie the Pooh charms. I'm gonna like do a close up of these so you can kind of see them a little bit better. We have three my scene McDonald's toys, which honestly I didn't even know they made McDonald's toys. Um, I think they're from 2004, so freaking cute. We have two Winnie the Pooh um, phone charm keychains, a little pig one, and this cutie little like transparent octopus one. Actually obsessed. And then we have a whole bunch of Winx. I don't know too much about Winx, sadly, but we have one, two, three, four, five Winx. They all, except for one, come with wings. Wait, they're... There should be another pair of wings. I think I dropped them somewhere. Um, they're just so freaking cute. I believe they're also from McDonald's, but these ones I don't actually know what year they're from. They might not be McDonald's. I don't know. Let me know. You guys probably know better than I do. I just never watched Winx growing up, but they're so stinking cute. I don't know what to do with them yet. I don't know if I'm going to put them in my loot scoops or just sell them individually like on my Etsy or in little lots I don't know yet I have to do some research I haven't looked anything up yet at all so I don't know um, but we'll see we'll see last but not least some Bratz items I got a Bratz McDonald's toy of Chloe does this work kind of oh yeah okay girly get it I actually have this you can't see it somewhere on my shelf it's the exact same one. And then at a thrift store we stopped at, my dad actually walked over and showed me these. I believe they're from 2011. Like, stop it. Sealed Bratz lip balm in strawberry and banana. You're kidding me. It's from, what brand made this? Brands Unlimited? I mean, they're legit brats. I thought they might be knockoffs at first because they just like don't look like the typical brats. But they are. Oh, they are. And I don't know what to do with these because they're actually incredible and I can't find anyone selling them online. So maybe I'll put these on eBay and a brats collector can get their hands on it. I don't know, but that's so freaking cool. I think legit, I'm being honest. This is my favorite find of the day at the thrift store because what on earth? What on earth? Let me know if you had these growing up. I did not. Well, that is my garage sale haul. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Also, if you want extra content, you can join my Patreon page for $3 a month. I post extra videos and content on there, so be sure to check it out. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. You're awesome.